Brett Okamoto here to talk about ESPN's MMA rankings update for the month of September. And to be honest, not a huge difference from when we did this one month ago in August. But the big name we need to talk about, of course, is UFC, UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley defended his title, of course, against Darren Till via second round submission last weekend at UFC 228 in Dallas, Texas. And for my money, that was the second most impressive performance in a UFC title fight this year, only trailing Henry Cejudo's historic win over Demetrius Johnson. Obviously, Demetrius Johnson, the longest reigning champion in UFC history. That fight, very back and forth. Cejudo gets a lot of credit for that one. Best performance of the year, but, t but Woodley was not far behind. You know, to go up against uh, a talented striker in Darren Till, beat him in the second round, yes, but spend about nine minutes in the octagon with him and not absorb a single strike according to fight metric. I talked to Woodley's coach, Dean Thomas, a couple days after the fight, and he said it best. I don't think you can do much better than that to go in and not take a single punch. So the question is, how far does Woodley rise up our pound for pound rankings? And the answer, maybe surprisingly, is not very far. He moves up one spot. He was at number five coming into last weekend and now he moves up to number four in ESPN's consensus rankings and look when you get to the top five fighters in the world we're really splitting hairs I think on any given night and I any one of these guys really could be considered uh, the best fighter in the world but one thing I will say about Tyron Woodley specifically is that he is beyond a shadow of a doubt proven that he is matchup proof and what I mean by that is if you look at his title run in the UFC the, the difference in opponents that he's faced thus far, you know, a rangy uh, karate style kickboxer in Steven Thompson, a guy who's going to try to take you down 20 times and beat you on the ground in Damian Maya. And now, uh, you know, Darren Till, you add to that just a massive, massive welterweight, huge guy for the division, a lot of confidence coming in, had never lost before. I just think you, you, we've, what we've shown here, and the way I look at pound for pound rankings really is if you shrink down everybody to the same size or you blow up some of the bigger guys, everybody's the same size and everybody fights each other. Who has the best record at the end of all that? And I think Tyron Woodley is right up there because there's no specific style that is going to give him problems. He's shown that he can invent different ways to beat these guys who have come in with a specific skill set and given a whole lot of other guys trouble. So Tyron Woodley deserves a whole lot of credit for that. I think his next fight is also going to be a unique style matchup and a very, and a very aggressive, in-your-face, high-volume wrestler in Colby Covington. However, I will say that there's one fight that I would love to see that's not Colby Covington, and that is George St. Pierre. I mean, we're having this conversation of who is the greatest welterweight of all time. I have always thought that when George St. Pierre vacated his title in 2013, but then started to express interest in coming back three, four years later, the most awesome thing that he could do is come back to the welterweight division and say, look, I dropped this belt. I dominated that division for years. I left for years. And then I came back and beat the guy who asserted himself as the number one welterweight. I think that that would be such an accomplishment in George St. Pierre's career. Tywin Woodley is most definitely that guy. He won't really say anymore that he wants George St. Pierre. So I'll say it for him. George, if you're hearing this as a fan, I would love to see you fight Tyron Woodley. However, I don't think that will be the next fight. I do think it will be Colby, Colby Covington, which again will be a different stylistic matchup uh, for Tyron Woodley.